Total dissolved solids contain the total amount of minerals and impurities in your water. TDS levels can be monitored to make sure your filter system has a high rejection rate. We will demonstrate how to find TDS by using our APEC water filtration system. To begin, first rinse two cups with reverse osmosis water. Then fill up the first cup with RO water and the second with tap water. Next, rinse your TDS meter with reverse osmosis water to maintain accuracy. Place the TDS meter 2 inches into the water until the meter displays a constant figure. The meter shows 7 parts per million for the RO water. Shake off any excess water and then test the tap water the same way. The meter shows 308 parts per million. Now that we have recorded both of our readings, we can calculate the percentage of this APEC reverse osmosis system. The rejection rate can be found by subtracting the reverse osmosis TDS from the tap water TDS, all over the tap TDS. This decimal can be converted to a percentage by multiplying it by 100. Here's an example using the numbers we recorded earlier. We will subtract 7 from the 308 and divide it by 308 and multiply it by 100 to get the percentage. This will give us a 98% rejection rate on our reverse osmosis system. A good RO system should remove 90-99% to of the contaminants in the water. When the rejection rate falls below 80-90%, to it is time to replace the membrane.